Shalom. Salutations. <coughs> I just wanted to make this video and uh, thank Pastor Dowell um, for the last service. Um, that was very much appreciated, sir. So, many thanks. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to set forth an example to uh, anyone who have might fallen away from your ministry in hopes of bringing unity. Um, so once again, very much appreciated, sir. Thank you. Uh, also, I just wanted to make um, little corrections, if I may, to uh, some of the statements you made um, on the past Shabbat. Um, you did mention that uh, I tracked uh, your email down for repentance. Actually, um, I didn't track your email down. That was your email you gave me uh, when I made a donation to your ministry. So I just wanted to bring you in remembrance of that. Um, also, you did mention uh, about uh, calling you a false prophet and uh, um, vile words like that. Um, I just wanted to uh, let you know that uh, these words never came out of my mouth, sir. Um, now, you might have heard them from um, anybody that was affi affiliated with uh, the past debacle of what happened, but uh, those were not my words, sir. Uh, but all in all, no worries. Um, I'm just glad that I'm uh, reconciliated with my pastor. Praise y'all. Um, and like I mentioned, I hope this, uh, this will be able to bring some, uh, some unity. Now, um, Now, I would like to give uh, counsel to um, these kind of situation because, as some of you may know, I have experienced them firsthand. <clears throat> if you have any offense against a brother or a sister that will not hear your words or will not listen to you, what you need to do is you need to hush up and you need to take a step back and meditate on what's going on. Now if this statement uh, that I'm making is threatening your kingdom, then you would be wise to go back to these green pastures and browse the herbs for a little bit. Once you're done, lay down on these green pastures and meditate, think. Because we have to be reminded that everything that happens in this world, everything is for a reason. There's no accidents. Because His will is perfect in all He does. Everything. And His timing is perfect. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus, he did mention, um, when you go and pray your Father, notice how he mentions what you do, you go in your room, you close your door, and then you pray to the Father, which is in the secret place. Let me put this translation in modern day's term. Turn off the radio, turn off the TV, disconnect from Facebook, Turn off all these external sound, every, these external um, things that will, what's the word I'm using for? Distractions, distractions, okay? And just think, just meditate. You know, he did say that um, he who is weary and comes to me, I will give him rest. 
But to be weary implies that you have to labor, right? But he will give you rest. So once you're, you're done with this, um, you take this. This is not God, by the way. This is his promise. You take this and you go to him. Now, you don't... I, I would personally um, recommend you don't open the Psalms and uh, find the, 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 the prayers that, that fit you. Uh, these were David's Psalms. We are all charged, each and different person, we are charged with something specific and tailor-made for us. Okay? So, you take this, which is his promise, you go to him, and he will give you rest. We all believe the word, right? So this is my uh, my two cents, if we may. And um, I wanted also to uh, salute other of the brothers um, that helped me um, and kept me uh, strengthened and encouraged to keep the faith um, during this exile, if I may call it. I want to salute um, Brother Dale. Uh, I want to salute um, Brother Ronald, Brother Ron from Canada, um, and also my dear brother Lamar. I wanted to uh, bless you all, and uh, Pastor Dowell also. And um, hey, hope you guys are filled this very day with uh, his glorious presence and his uh, overcoming strength and joy and shalom. Have a good one.